Woo, a security presentation. Said absolutely no one ever. And you can add my mother into that category as well. I'm going to go out on a limb here today and say that the majority of you probably started checking your email as soon as you heard the word security in our logo. And that's OK. I can help you with that problem a little bit. When I was pre preparing our presentation for Finnovate, I started giving some thought to that problem. And it was pretty clear, really, everybody hates security. It's almost become a four-letter word. When you start breaking it down, why customers hate it, mainly because it actually interrogates them rather than allowing them to go and do the transactions they want to perform. Bankers seem to hate it because it fails way too often. And worse, it's too damn expensive to maintain uh, and really complicated to set up. And here, it, I'm, I'm here to tell you today, it doesn't have to be that way. There is a smarter way to do this. You shouldn't hate it, and neither should your customers, if you do it the right way. So I'm not going to focus on talking about security, encryption, and all that good stuff, although I will mention it from time to time. It's hard to break. But I, I'd rather show you a solution that actually enables and facilitates communication to your customers and makes it a clear and consistent way for interacting with them each and every time that they want to interact with the bank, whether that's online or on mobile, in person at the branch, using card not present to transact online, trading stocks on a tablet, or anything else really you can think of, NCAP is a tool that will allow you to truly enable omnichannel innovation. The first transaction that I'm going to show you today is actually a very basic one, just logging in to mobile banking on an iPad. When I click sign in here, it's just going to ask me for a pin. I key in that pin. I've kept it simple so I can remember. And voila, that's it. We're not trying to overcomplicate this process, and we're making it very, very simple for the user to see. Why? Because the average user could not possibly care less about the security that's behind the scenes. All they really want to know and need to trust is that the bank is keeping them safe. Now, we have deep and multi-layered cryptography behind the scenes here. We keep the user safe and ensure that nothing can run in the app unless you want it to, and I'll talk more about that in a moment. But the key point is all of this complexity is hidden to the end user. It is dead simple to figure out and dead simple to use at every point. I'm going to switch over and do a transaction now from my online banking account. Here, what we're doing is just doing a fairly basic money movement transaction of $5,000 to a payee that's already set up. When I click Next on this transaction, I'm actually being asked how I want to approve this transaction. Why am I being asked to approve this transaction? Because it's $5,000 and my laptop is in New York, not in rural Massachusetts where I live. So I'm going to select my Android phone and click Next. Once I do that, and the camera switches over to my Android phone, You'll see that I've received a push notification on my crookedly placed Android. Uh, and when I open that app, I'm presented with the transaction that the bank wants me to approve. In this case, that $5,000. NCAP also allows you to layer in, before we showed the PIN, because my iPad had no method for biometric authentication. Here, I'm going to present my finger to approve that transaction. It's approved, and now it is settled on the bank side. And in that four or five seconds, if I weren't yapping, we've gone from a very high risk, high dollar transaction in a location that wasn't known to now proving not only that the user had the intent to execute that transaction, but also that their phone is in the same exact location as their laptop when they're making that transaction. And again, we've approved it with context from the user. Maybe my wife wouldn't be so happy since we share that account, but it still went through. The final piece I want to talk about today is uh, what I mentioned earlier about app security. And what, because NCAP is, is generally integrated into your mobile banking application, what we have here is an actual production level, uh, production deployed banking application that has been hacked. Uh, so I took this application off of the internet. I've masked the name uh, to protect the innocent. And just making it so that I can illustrate that when you go and put security into your mobile banking app, it's not just about protecting the app itself, which is not done in this case, but it's also to reinforce the fact that when you put the keys to the kingdom 
in a mobile app, you better make sure that you have a security provider that is capable of protecting them while they're there. Again, this literally cannot happen with NCAF. What we've done is not only made it so that the communication between bank and customer is kept intact, but we know without fail that the app itself is protected, that any information cannot leave the app unless you want it to, and in fact, only the things that you want to run at the time that you want to run them, even if they're legitimate operations, cannot happen out of sequence as you've outlined them. Really what this means is it doesn't matter what the customer does with their device, you can still have assurance that their transaction is safe, allowing them to transact even on this malware-infested iPad that I have. All too often in too much of our lives, security is far too intrusive. In many interactions, we're actually forced more to prove our innocence, and that creates customer pushback, whether it's boarding a plane or even buying allergy medicine nowadays. NCAP is designed to be nearly invisible to the end user, and when it's appropriate to be present and needed, it's dead simple to use and dead simple to set up from the bank. In fact, integrating NCAP is only three function calls from start to finish. The typical proof of concept is up and running in about a week. We can protect every facet of the customer experience regardless of how the interaction takes place. Thanks for your time, and if you'd like to come by the booth and have a whack at your own mobile banking application, I welcome you to stop by. I haven't found a banking app yet that can stand up to it, or one of our customers for that matter. Thanks.